Hi guys, welcome to another video. So this is going to be our first tutorial on speech recognition. We're gonna start with the OG, okay? We're gonna start uh, using Pox Phoenix or Pox Phoenix, which is a nice project uh, from Carnegie Mellon University. Really, really good project. Uh, you guys, we're gonna be trying out this. So we're gonna install this. We're gonna open up the comment prompt as admin. Uh, we're gonna be installing and we might encounter some problems and we're gonna have to solve but that is gonna be interesting so we are downloading okay so we installed pox things now let me see i'm gonna try to run this uh we got a file here which we're gonna write some code from pox things we're gonna import live speech it's pretty much just how we're gonna load the default model and we can do for phrase in live speech print phrase so it's pretty much a really really basic test on speech recognition and if we got it to work it should work uh, right off the bat but if it doesn't okay it's working huh okay we're done okay we are done so but the problem is that some of the older version of box things had a lot of dependencies it depended on pi audio which was really hard to get to installed but this is working so we got a speech recognition working here okay that's well, easy but you guys can see that the accuracy is not that good it's not that good but okay i'm gonna just gonna talk about uh this project which is pretty good okay we got it to work so now let's talk about it. So this comes from the Carnegie Mellon University. And that's here they, they have a bunch of information. You can train your own model, okay, to for speech recognition using Pox Things. Although I would say it's really, really hard. We're gonna have to install Linux. We're gonna have to install a bunch of C dependencies uh, to be able to set up uh, the, uh, the scripts that you need to train a model for this. And the, is, is, the results not gonna be really good because it uses old tech, okay? It uses tech from the 90s, which is hidden Markov models. So you're also gonna have to train a language model, a phonetic dictionary for a new language which might be interesting if you are trying to do a project like this but the reason why i'm making this tutorial just to show you guys how much improvement we can get uh, from using something like this which was the foundation i learned a lot using box things uh, especially when i when set up to train my own model uh, which was a hassle. It was really difficult, but it was a nice project. So I got, I had about two hours of speech and I set up a Ubuntu environment. It was an interesting project, but with this, because this channel is going to focus on machine learning and especially deep learning, this video should be like the foundation of speech recognition to see from where we were to where we are going to be. Okay. That, that's, that's just the gist of it, but that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and see you guys in the next one